How to set up TicketBot Discord Setting up a TicketBot in Discord makes it easier to handle support requests and communicate with your community. Now here is how we are going to do it. First things first, I want you to go ahead and open Google Chrome and here you're going to go ahead and look for Ticket Tool Discord. Now you should see this one here, go ahead and click this and you're going to go ahead and click Invite Ticket Tool. After doing so, you should be redirected here. You're just going to click this one and choose your server. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the server here. Click continue and then go ahead and authorize this one here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and check our discord. All right, now we can see the ticket tool is now here. Now, after doing so, you're going to go ahead and click this one here and you're going to go ahead and open your server settings. Click roles here at the side. And we're going to go ahead and put our ticket tool just above our bots. All right, just like that. After doing so, I'm going to go ahead and click save changes. Now we're going to go ahead and add a new role. So I'm going to click this one here and we're going to go ahead and call this one support staff. All right, and then you can go ahead and choose a color. I'm just going to go ahead and choose this, um, say for example, this one right here. All right, and then go ahead and save changes. Now, if you're going to scroll down here, make sure that this is what we have here. After doing so, go ahead and click the permissions here at the top and make sure to click clear permissions. And then you're going to go ahead and move this up. So just go ahead and put this here. There you go. So now we have our support staff. Our ticket tool is here. Now we're going to go ahead and proceed. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this one. Now this time we're going to go ahead and create a new category. So I'm going to right click this one, create category, and I'm just going to go ahead and name this one support. All right. And then we're going to private it. Click next. And then I'm going to go ahead and add people who will be able to access this one. So it's going to be the admin, the owner, the ticket tool, and of course the support staff. Now, if you have members, you're going to go ahead and have to add them here. Now, click create category. All right, now we are seeing it here. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it up. All right, there you go. Now, from this point forward, I'm going to go ahead and right click this one. And we're going to go ahead and click edit category. Now go ahead and click permissions. So here I want you to go ahead and scroll down until you see advanced permissions. I'm just going to go ahead and click this one and then make sure that at everyone is selected here. You're going to go ahead and scroll down and we're going to go ahead and look for something. Now we're going to go ahead and enable one thing here. This one here, read message history. I'm just going to click this one and then click save changes. Now after doing so, I'm just going to go ahead and close this one. I'm going to click this. All right, and we're going to go ahead and add a text channel. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one support ticket, just like so, and go ahead and click create channel. All right, now that we have added this one, we're going to go back to our ticket tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and right here, ticket tool discord, click manage. All right, and then here in our panel configs, I'm going to go ahead and click it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click create here, and I'm going to go ahead and call this one support ticket, just like so click the create button and now we are here so we're going to go ahead and save this one first before proceeding now we're going to go ahead and click general and here we're going to go ahead and choose support staff because they are the one that's going to respond the message click save and then we're going to click back and then this time we're going to click the category click this one here and we're going to choose support and save this one we're going to go ahead and close it once again this time go ahead and click messages and then click edit panel messages and this time we're going to go ahead and expand the embed editor all right just like this one here so this time i'm going to go ahead and just write something here all right just like so after that i'm just going to go ahead and save this one okay now that we have added it we're going to proceed with the next one we're going to go ahead and click back back once again click permissions all right and ticket ownership we're going to go ahead and click edit open go ahead and scroll down here and you should see here read message history click this one and then save it now click panel configs now here at the top you should see an option here it says send go ahead and click that one and then here instead of general we're going to choose support ticket click send all right panel sent to the channel so we're going to go ahead and check it out there you go as you can see we are now here so if I were to click this one here, for example, you should see something appear here at the top. There you go. So you can see now we have ticket one created. Okay. So, yep, that's how you're going to do it. So now that we have created this one, you can go ahead and message here 
And once that is done, you can just go ahead and click the close button here. All right, and close it. All right, so now you can see the ticket has been closed by that particular person. Now, there are options here, for example, transcribe, open, or basically delete this ticket. So it's up to the person what you're going to do. For example, if I were to click the delete button here, you can see that this will be deleted. All right, says ticket will be deleted in a few seconds. All right, there you go. You can see that it is gone right now. So if I were to go back here, you can see that it is gone right now. So, yep, that's basically how you are going to do it. Congratulations, everybody. Now you know how to set up TicketBot here on Discord. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.